Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend, holiday weekend. Um, yeah, so we're going to take a look. We're going to do a Celtic cross reading today and take a look at June's messages and there will be an extended reading if you are interested. The link will be in the description box below the video. Okay, so let's get into this reading. Don't forget to put a like on the video if you enjoy the reading. And if you would like to subscribe, just click the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, let's take a look. Past energy. Wow, you've got the magician. Present is the queen of wands. The challenge is the Knight of Pentacles, driving the reading, the tower, crowning is the Two of Pentacles, near future, Nine of Wands, position of you, the uh, Seven of Cups, the other person, Page of Wands, obviously this is going to be a relationship reading, uh, hopes and fears, the Two of Wands, and the possible outcome is the Nine of Cups. Okay, Virgo. The overall message right now, okay, currently as you're listening to this, there is an energy of anxiety and stress, okay? There's some type of mental conflict occurring, either within you or within another person or between two people. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to say this, right? So there's an energy that somebody must be away. Somebody's away from another person working really hard, putting in all the extra effort and energy into... It's, it's, there's somebody's distracted by their duties or the things that they have to do. Somebody's trying to just pay their bills or take care of business, take care of family, that kind of energy, and pushing back on a very strong, physically obsessive kind of a relationship. Like this right here is SEX, totally. Somebody's like trying to push back on that because they can't be distracted at this time because Either they've got, they're working or they got some kind of project or something is going on, trying to make some money or do something in regards to finances, okay? So there's a lot of pushing back. But I do feel like there is a somebody here who is curious about another person in regards to a family situation, okay? But the overall message to start is there's a lot of anxiety and stress happening so either in you or another person now the past position is the magician with the chariot okay so the past position makes me feel like there was momentum to manifest or to start something or to make something happen there was an ex like this overall yes i'm hearing yes let's do it yes let's do this thing let's make something happen okay past energy let's get to it you know this is kind of like with the chariot i feel like somebody was making plans um plotting out their coordinates which way they were going to go which way they wanted to go the magician here is just pretty much like being creative and focusing on some kind of plan to do something okay so there was a lot of momentum and movement to make some kind of magic happen in the past so I just want to get another clarifying card. Yeah, look at that. Page of Pentacles. Like all these plans, ideas. Somebody was really wanting to, like they could envision these plans and ideas and things that they wanted to do or to have or to make happen. Now the current energy right now is the Queen of Wands. So this represents um, an, a fiery energy. This is bold. And I feel like this is you, Virgo. Seriously, right now. Right now, Virgo, you're like ready to go. You have, you've got that fire in June, right? So today is the 27th going into the 28th. But I see like now this present energy, you're on fire. You're ready to do something. Like you're ready to make, take action on something in your life in regards to another person, okay? Now, the Knight of Pentacles is challenging and 
this is probably why there's a little bit of stress of ang and anxiety because there's this feeling of oh, something is taking so long the knight of pentacles is slow as molasses <laughs> and virgo's like no i'm ready i've got all the you know like we put these plans into action or I've put these plans in action. I, everything is, I, I know what I want and I know how to get it and I'm ready to go and I'm just waiting for someone to, you know, fire that gun, you know, like they do at the horse races to go. Okay, but it's a waiting energy and there's nothing worse than being passionate, action oriented, you know, ready to get on the plane, ready to, to just take off from the gate and you got to wait and it's calling i feel like there's a calling here for you to be extremely patient maybe you are being patient but it's a challenge okay so tower is here <laughs> yeah this is what's driving you you're ready you've got like explosive energy you're ready to go okay this is like it can be a very destructive energy, but you're ready to just kind of Tasmanian devil your way through something here. And let's go. Let's, I just, I keep hearing, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's like your feet are moving, you know, but you're spinning your wheels in June. You're ready to go and do something. Let me just get a clarifying card for this. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. It's destroying your mental state. Your mental state right now is pretty much like this is killing me it's like but you can't go you're ready to go but you can't go and it's killing you to be patient i feel you feel trapped and and that's a lot of the reason why you just want to move forward because you're ready to go you don't want to wait now, i don't know this i don't know how this what exactly this is about it could be uh, for, since it's a relationship reading some of you could be waiting for someone to offer that commitment you know and you're ready for it you're ready to go but you know there's an energy here of, of needing to be patient in regards to it or you either have to wait or you need to make a decision whether or not you need to shit or get off the pot that's pretty much what i'm seeing here okay that two of pentacles up there in your head is like weighing it out and I feel like a lot of you are kind of in this position right now where it's like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I keep waiting or should I not? Should I just drop the ball? You know, what's the best thing to do? So I definitely feel like your headspace is in this decision mode here, weighing things out, trying to stabilize, figure out what's the best option for you at this time. Because, mm, 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 mm. In, in regards to some kind of relationship, I feel like you're just maybe waiting for another person to take the lead or make up their mind about something, some, some type of something, make up their mind or make a decision, okay? But it looks like maybe it's you that needs to make this decision, Virgo. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel like. That's what the cards are saying. You need to be the one to decide, not let somebody else decide. You need to be the one to say, this is what I want to do and this is what I'm doing. And you're either with me or you're not. That's kind of how I feel like your energy needs to be because the waiting is killing you. Your head's going to explode. You feel trapped here. I don't know. We're going to get into this other person here, but coming up in the near future here, you do have the nine of wands. So yeah, I'm looking at this card and I just feel like when I'm looking at this, I see you looking back on your scenario like sometime maybe in the middle of June and you're like really taking a look. I, I see you looking back on this situation and you're 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 busted up from this. This is what I see. Like it's get you have a headache. Your arm's killing you. I don't know why your arm's killing you. <laughs> or will be there's just this energy of like ugh, needing to put up some boundaries based on this some kind of past energy here something that's just doesn't seem to be happening there's no movement okay with with a particular person currently so yeah in the next couple of weeks i do see you kind of looking back and saying you know really taking a cold hard look and say i've been patient 
I've been waiting. It's been killing me. I've been waiting for someone to either get back to me, to answer me, to give me a yes or a no, to tell me what they want. Um, it's participation in some type of a partnership. And now I need to decide. So probably sometime in the middle of June, you're going to make a full decision, possibly. Okay. But I will say you are definitely going to be taking a cold, hard look at something. Maybe from this point now that you're listening, um, the end of May, you'll maybe you'll give it a few more weeks. But look, here you are. This is the position of you and your advice. Some of you need to take a look at the fact that somebody probably ghosted you or they're non-committal. And perhaps your advice here, Virgo, with this scenario, and please don't force it to fit. If this sounds like your situation, then yeah, okay, it's your reading. But try not to um, just be very discerning about your own personal situation. But you might need to be the one to say, you know what, I'm not committing to a non-committed relationship. If that's what you're looking for, or you need to go ghost for a little bit. And just be like, you can't see me, you can't see me. In this scenario here, I feel like that's your advice. Now, advice, take it if you want it. Advice is not, it's not a, it's not an order, Virgo. But the other person here, they're showing up here with the page of wands, okay? So is there going to be communication from them? Absolutely. You are going to hear from this person that they are extremely enthusiastic, uh, let's take a look. I want to clarify both of your advice and the person external to you, what their energy is, what your advice more so is. Okay, so it's pretty much like you making a change here. The, this is this is like the, the um, this is like time to me, you know. Um, time for a change. Roll with the changes. It's time to just move forward. And I feel like stop. I feel like the message is don't wait. You got to keep moving going forward. The page of wands. I feel like if you do this, if you ghost or you pull out of some situation here, you just even if you don't ghost, but you just make a decision that you're just not going to commit to it and keep your options open. I don't know if it's going to cause this person to reach out to you or if you're just going to so happen to hear from this person about their ideas and their plans and something to do with their excitement. Let me take a look. Oh, so seems like this person was the one who was also stressed. Um, You know, Virgo, I don't feel like this person. Um, so Spirit's just saying to me, hold on. So they're saying, okay, you need to take your hands off the wheel. That's what I'm hearing. Um, because I don't feel like whoever your person is um, wants to be away from you. Do you know what I mean? I feel like maybe that was them that was so wrapped up in something that they were doing that they just couldn't uh, give anything to you. Um, maybe they told you that or they just made it clear that they weren't able to commit. Yeah, you know, Virgo, I swear I'm not going to tell you what to do. You got to judge this. Because you have to get your needs met, but it's if you really love this person and whoever your person is, and you want to be with them, um, maybe the the change that you need to make is keep your options open. You can still stay involved with the person if you want to, but uh, keep your options open. Like don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Don't throw any baby out the window. Like, what the F? Where did that? Is that something they did in, like, the 1920s? <laughs> Where did that phrase come from? Did somebody do that? Like, God forbid. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. Um, they really want to talk to you. They, they're definitely with the Nine of Swords in this very anxious, conflicted, mental stress energy kind of thing here. Just they say get one more card here. Okay, yeah, they've been on their own. They don't, I, Listen, Virgo, I don't feel like it could be another Virgo you're dealing with. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Gemini. It could be a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be a Scorpio. Um, it could be an Aquarius. 
um, or a Taurus. But this person, they've been in hermit mode. When they're alone, they don't like being alone. So either they're going to reach out to you because they want to keep in touch with you. Definitely. I don't feel like they want to lose you. But I don't feel like they can fully give you what you need. So they're either going to reach out to you or they're or stressing why they haven't heard from you. Okay, they might be stressing about this as well if you haven't been reaching out to them because they, you maybe you did and then they weren't really available. If that's the case, you might have decided, well, I'm not going to keep chasing. Okay, but... And, you know, I, I always... It really just depends. I mean, sometimes it takes two to tango. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to take turns. But I feel like this person, when they don't hear from you, they get really, like, anxious. They do. And they feel lost and alone. Um, and they like to hear from you. And sometimes they will reach out just to make sure you're still there. And I feel like they're doing that. Okay. So, hopes and fears, obviously, with the two of wands, is kind of like, okay, well, you know, which path do I go? I'm, I'm, like, I feel like your energy here with the two of wands, Virgo, is like, well, you know, I want to move forward with my person. And I want us to, like, I'm at a crossroads. That's what I feel like you're saying to yourself. You hope that you can make a decision on which path you want to take, but you fear you might stay stuck at this crossroad. Now, the, the possible outcome is the Nine of Wands, and I feel like with the Nine of Wands, you are going to have a wish that is going to be granted to you in regards to this relationship. And I will go into the extended to see what the wish will be, okay, and how that's going to play out. Um, so if you want to stop the reading, you can just click, go down, just hit pause <laughs> or stop it. Go in the description box below and the link for the extended will be there. But if you want to keep going, just hang out with me and you can purchase the reading later. So we're going to get into a few more details to see what else is going on in this relationship or what this situation is. And by the way, the extended reading is $11.11. Okay. So let's get your messages of love. And see what else is happening here okay this relationship is moving toward a sacred union need some boundaries firm boundaries are needed now not to set boundaries for this person but more so to set them for yourself like what are you going to tolerate from yourself Virgo? Oh. <laughs> you know what i mean like what are you willing and not willing to tolerate from yourself are you doing things that you want to kick yourself because you wish you hadn't done them, then set a boundary with yourself. It Boundaries for self is pretty much self-discipline, you know? So what are you, whatever it is that you feel like you either need to stop doing or start doing, you need to set a boundary for yourself, okay? Um, and that in turn just relays a message to another person what you will if i'm not going to tolerate this for myself i'm certainly not going to tolerate it from you okay and no one wants to be with someone where they feel like they have to be tolerated right so what are you this is more about you setting boundaries for yourself okay let's see what else is going on here okay so you are being watched online i will tell you that somebody Either you're watching someone or they're watching you, okay? Keeping tabs. Someone's keeping tabs on another person. Ooh, illusion. Oh, okay, that's the moon energy. Hmm. So someone's in doubt of a situation and it's why they're looking online to try to get some information, okay? Um... There's this thing that I used to say years ago on, on my other channel. The moon at night, you know when you're laying in your bed at night and the moon's the bright moon is shining through the through the window and say you have like a shirt or some pants on a chair or something. The the moon can cast these very oblique looking weird shadows and it can sometimes make the clothing that you l rationally know is on your chair look like some kind of monster. The moon has a way of creating these illusions. There is an element here of spying online or looking someone up and what they're seeing is not really what it is. So either that's a message for you that what you're seeing is not all, is not all truth. It's just either you know, the face of the moon, what's the only side of 
that you're seeing, only what's illuminated. It's not the full thing, like I was explaining. Uh, when the sun's out, you know that's your shirt and that's your pants hanging on the chair. You know, the light's on. But when the moon, it's kind of like, ooh, dark shadows, what's going on? Um, don't spy online if you're doing that because it's all a trick. It's all a facade. People always put up that moon face, but they don't show the dark side of their moon ever. So you don't get the full picture. Um, and if this person is doing this because they're doubtful, um, what they're seeing, their their mind's playing tricks on them or vice versa. Okay, and it's really important to trust the gut. Um, don't be fooled by moving images or any kind of images or things that you see. Um, that are online because like I said, it's a lot of people do a whole lot of um, curating things to be perfect for other people, especially on social media. And it's a bunch of shit. <laughs> I mean, come on, can we get back into like the real world? If you it, like when you think back how life was before, you know, all the social media stuff, we, we, everybody was just out living their lives. That was it. You know, and what you see is what you get. That's that. So there is something going on here. It's like all of social media has just become like a film role. And I don't know, I feel like I'm hearing, don't believe everything that you see. What is it? Believe half of what you hear and none of what you see. I think that's what it is. Yeah, something like that. Okay, anything else here for Virgo? Oh good, some of you are getting a loan. Hey, <laughs> money's always good and uh, Oh, interesting. So you have the Hermit card and the tower. And yeah, the tower again. So I feel like um, I feel like you need some alone time, Virgo, to reflect. Because I think something's going to hit you about what you need to do in your alone time, your reflection time, your meditative time, your stillness time, whatever you do, you're going to get like um, that tower, that boom, that feels like a, a light bulb moment is going to come to you. You're going to get like a little hit of reality, of rationality, of sanity about what you need to do in regards to something. And here, you have the hanged man. Look at this. You look at something differently. Sometimes you have to let go of old notions. Even though you may feel stuck, it's just an illusion, right? And that's what we were talking about. Try seeing a situation from a positive or at least a different perspective. There's a silver lining to everything. A slight change in view can and will make this predicament easier. Mm, Virgo. What is this predicament here? Well, I think some of we kind of know. Right? We kind of know what the predicament is. You might not want to just keep waiting around for someone or something. Something to, maybe so much for something to progress. I feel like that's more what it is <clears throat> for progression. All right, let's just, I wanted to get a couple of these cards. Okay. Hmm, you've got coffin. All right, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Okay, so there's an ending and then a new beginning. Um, and that could be a thought process. That could be in the physical. In other words, you, you might physically leave a situation, a relationship, um, or engage in it. There's just something ends mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, which brings a new beginning. There's growth, change, there's a transition that occurs. Okay, and here's keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional string along one night stand. You might be dealing with that, or you just might need to keep, like I said, your your options not get so um, hooked or tied to one person, place, or thing to just kind of let it go. Trust the process, leave things be. That's kind of the message that I'm getting here. Let me get a Chinese sign because I want to see who you're dealing with and what your Chinese sign might be. Don't forget the extended reading on what this wish is that's coming to you. Okay, year of the goat, year of the monkey, year of the tiger, year of the pig, year of the dog, year of the dragon. That's this year. We're in the year of the dragon. 
Year of the Rat, and Year of the Snake. Okay, that could be you. Could be the person that you're you're dealing with. All right, Virgo. Let's get into Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus. These could be the people that you are that this reading is about. Okay, we have September third. Okay, letter K, the letter H, the letter P, the letter I, the letter F. Okay, these could be initials. You can use double initials or just one. Uh, someone is 64 or born in 64, August 26th, September 16th, 1990, April, significant month. September 2nd, Oop. the letter U and then the turn to a T. Okay, Taiwan. Hey, someone's name is Katie, someone's name is Phil or Philip. Someone's nickname is Kip or Kipper. Um, August 31st, someone is 41. Okay, we have another P. I just, they just said pop up. I just heard pop up. Um, a Y and an O, like yo, yo pop. <laughs> yo pop, what's up pop? Um, hmm. P.F. Chang's, I just heard P.F. Chang's. Uh, somebody exercises, very fit, or is getting fit, or does hit type workout, hit. Um, somebody's uh, got an olive or a cherry pit. Spitting out Oliver Cherry Pit. <laughs> Pip, P I P. Could be a nickname, Pip. We heard Pop. Uh, let's see. Somebody's on TikTok. Holla. Hey, you guys, you know, you can follow me on TikTok. If you're a TikTok user, yeah, go over there and um, please do give me a follow on my videos that I'm uploading. I'm so new to stuff. Like, I'm just trying to do the TikTok thing. Um, anyway, you don't have to. It's fine. Whatever you want to do. Um, let's see. Nope. And wait. Oh, um. Mm. Somebody works full time and is, is either going from full time to part time or is going from part time to full time. Um, now somebody also works where they receive tips. As well, if you're one of those people that your income primarily comes from tips, I want to give um, a big shout out. My hats off to you because that's that's a job. If your your primary income is through tips, you're working your ass off. Let me tell you, you can't take a day off. Um, no vacation for tip workers. Let's see. Okay, um, and someone's eating a Kit Kat, or there's a Kit Kat. I'm just hearing Kit Kat. I don't know if you're eating it, or maybe it's a nickname, Kit or Kit Kat. Uh, let's see, we have some new members. Divinely Guided joined again. Welcome, Melanie Watson Forston, Deborah Spangler, Missy Baby 1934, Shannon Craigle, Christy Jamieson, Carolyn Sirocco, Thank you everybody for joining. I greatly appreciate that. Okay, let's check out your charms. And again, don't forget, there will be an extended reading to see what the wish coming true is, is showing up here. I just saw a guitar. Right when I picked it up, like an electric guitar. So if it if it pops out, great, but I don't think it will because it disappeared. But there's a, some connection to an electric guitar. You also have a shade tree or the tree of life. I have a triangle, okay, connection, they just said to the Bermuda Triangle, um, geez, some kind of connection to a, um, let me see what comes up here, the red triangle, oh, they just said press play, press the play button, you're going to love it, that's what I just heard, uh, I'm seeing also um, a neon red heart neon like a light like a neon light now this tree 
you know, I don't know if it's the tree of life or not, but I will say that I, okay. They just said some of you really like, if you can, if you can do it in the warm weather, get your shoes off and go up to a tree and hug a tree. I know it sounds funny. I know it sounds silly, but there's some type of healing property to tree hugging. Like, whatever you got to do, I just feel like go hug a tree. There's something about the, the energy, the electricity or the magnetic energy that comes from a tree is very healing. That's what I'm just hearing about a tree. Or maybe you could just be sitting under a tree as you're listening to this or out somewhere where there's trees, of course. All right, they just gave you a snake. Okay, so like we did say, year of the snake. Somebody could be born in the year of the snake. If you're near a tree and there's a snake, I don't know what to tell you because uh, I don't know what I would do if I was near a tree and there was a snake. I think I don't know what I would do. I wouldn't even know what to do. I guess if it was coming down and I saw it, I'd run. But I, is that what you're supposed to do? Is it kind of like if you see a bear, you're supposed to freeze? I don't know. So just if you go sit under a tree, make sure you kind of observe the tree before you sit under, before you hug it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can be hugging snakes out there, Virgo. Okay. Is there anything else? Um, somebody's. I see somebody receiving cookies. Like a big batch of cookies receiving or giving but it's mostly receiving you also have a cac cactus oh, hold on can't show anything here cactus or cactus rose is that what that is there you go so maybe you live somewhere where there's cacti there's a connection to a cactus somewhere some of you have been drinking water and doing like a, you're you're very well hydrated and i just want to give you a good shout out um for keeping yourselves very well hydrated or keeping yourself well hydrated i know um maybe you've just started drinking more water and if that's the case awesome because you're doing a good job i'm just hearing keep that up okay and one last but not least one charm you have a bike a weird looking bike but yeah there's a bike so there is a connection to a bicycle either you just got one um or you're going to start riding your bike or you have been riding your bike or just some of you are going green and giving up your vehicles and or maybe you live in a city you ride a bike maybe that's your job um significant bike here definitely it looks like it could be a 10 speed or a 12 speed is what i'm hearing okay so yeah i'm gonna leave that there Again, I hope you guys had a really great, oh, Pacific time zone, I just heard. I hope you guys had a really great weekend. And again, um, the link for the extended reading will be in the description box below this video. Like I said, we're going to take the Nine of Cups and see what the wish coming true for you is in regard to this situation. Um, because it's definitely an outcome. It's showing up in an outcome. So we'll see what exactly that will be. All right, you guys. So I will see you all back here tomorrow. Thank you everyone for being here. And I'll see you guys later. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.